So we're moving on, uh, and firstly we have um, uh, uh, we have uh, the, the first session that was well, supposed to be the first one, which is legal framework on information security and CERT, CERT uh, issues. Nebojša Vasiljevic, Ministry of uh, Trade and Telecommunications of Serbia. Nebojša, 20 minutes are yours, and then uh, we are going to signal you after 10 minutes, and then we we'll leave some questions for some time for questions. I'm sure Nebusha can handle the Russian one as well, but still. Uh, so I could try, but uh, I'm not sure. Uh, okay, thank you. So I'm just waiting for the PowerPoint to be uploaded. So I may start with some introduction while uh, presentation is preparing to be here. Oh, sorry, this is not my presentation. Uh, so, uh, so generally, um, I will talk a little bit about legal framework and maybe a little bit wi wider uh, about uh, all those things that is important when you uh, look uh, at the uh, system on infor of information security from the state regulation level, policy, etc. Uh, so, uh, first of all, but I, I, I think that I will need that I will need uh, presentation because on first slide uh, slides I will shortly present European uh, legal framework. I suppose uh, some of my colleagues previously already. Oh, okay, thank you, thank you. I prefer to walk. You, you recognize it. Thank you. So, I suppose some of <coughs> uh, some of uh, my colleagues that previously talked to you uh, already mentioned some aspects of uh, European legislative framework. I suppose and probably most of you know something about that. Uh, something that is the most important for uh, uh, legal, um, legal drafting here and probably in many other countries now um, is a new proposal uh, directive on network and information uh, security and uh, this is pretty much related with previous EU policy. So this is one part of EU regulation and since we are accession country uh, for European Union, um, this is very important part and it regulates this, how I call it, general information security uh, or cyber security part. There is the other part that we are now focused to address regarding information security, and uh, this is um, access to um, secret data in information system or protection of secret data. It is more, more, more regulated on European level by some uh, EU uh, uh, decisions of European Council that regulates EU secret data, and in this, in this area, we will uh, try to, to harmonize. We don't need to formally harmonize, but to use this uh, um, similar model on national level. Uh, okay, I have on my laptop also, I sent you three emails.
according to the policy. Uh, uh, okay, I mentioned a little bit about, you, you, you may go forward with the next slide. Just So, first slide was related to policy papers on European level strategies and um, uh, the more many, many solutions for this strategy uh, um, is um, implemented uh, in draft directive. You can go forward, that we spent, we already talked about legislation enough European level, so it is just introduction. So what is national policy framework in Serbia? Um, first of all, there is no specific strategy or policy paper that, is, that address information security, but information security uh, is addressed by several other uh, documents. First of all, a development strategy for information society. There is a section on uh, information uh, security. Then national security strategy. And what is also important, strategy of development of electronic communication, defense strategy, and, mm, and so on. Uh, as you probably know, when we are talking about new proposed, regula uh, new proposed directive, on uh, network and information security, then uh, this directive supports already established system in uh, network um, um, uh, uh, operators, electronic communication operators, uh, that needs to report to regulatory authority. So that's why this, this part is really part of overall um, regulation policy. Let's go on. A national legal framework, mm. as I previously mentioned, and I will talk a little bit more uh, on some of the next slides, um, uh, specific legislation on information security uh, that is mostly related with network and information security. Uh, um, topic uh, we is, is drafting. But some other uh, legal acts already regulates different, dif different aspects of, of this area. Those legal acts are listed here. I will mention in more detail some of, some of them later. So as you know or already know, uh, this, this area is scattered through different legal, legal areas and needs to be properly addressed from all sides. So what is also very important besides legal framework and also uh, regulated by the legal framework itself is the institutional framework. And there is uh, many different kind of institutions that, I, uh, that are involved in the in different aspects of information security. First of all, some ministries that are traditional related with security and also, of course, information security, uh, interior, defense, justice. Then our ministry for telecommunications that are particularly responsible for information society aspect and general aspect on, of information security. What is very important is Ministry of um, uh, Public Administration that is responsible for public administration, for the government, etc. There is a big part of information security issues there. On operational level, uh, the 
a backbone network of uh, state institutions, uh, government institutions, parliament, etc. Uh, uh, the, the, the core backbone network is managed by an um, uh, admi administrative agency for joint services. Then, uh, education network by uh, academic network of Republic of Serbia. Of course, I already ma uh, mentioned uh, regulatory agency for electronic communications and the role of this agency. Then we have set of institutions that are uh, responsible for uh, law enforcement in uh, uh, cyber crime, that is uh, special prosecutor, uh, prosecutor uh, and uh, one of courts. Then we have also very important role of a commissioner for information of public importance and personal data protection, particularly here when we are talking about security. Uh, this is security of personal, personal data protection. And this is shortly institutional framework in Serbia of institutions that are related with information security issues. Uh, in the strategy of information society, there are several areas that are mentioned in this section of, for, um, about information security, legal institutional framework, critical inf infrastructure, fight, fight against cy cybercrime, science research and development. I've already mentioned legal and a part of institutional framework. Uh, regarding critical infrastructure, there will be also uh, two slides, I will say a little bit more, it is not uh, yet directly regulated. There is some traditional concept that can be partly mapped to something that is critical infrastructure now about fight against cybercrime. I already mentioned several institutions and we will talk a little bit more. And one part that is recognized particularly is uh, scientific research and development work in the area of information security. Go forward, thank you. So, in the uh, legislation part, besides uh, existing institutions and legislation that we will develop, one important thing is national, national CIRT, and uh, we are considering, still considering, uh, how, how, how to address this, this, this kind of institution and to, to, um, from, the, from, the, from the law and the whole system of national uh, uh, search. Uh, since in the draft of European uh, directive, there is defined, defined role uh, and we will, we will see how, how to map between different institutions, we will mention them, that already have some capacities uh, for, for that. Go forward. So, I mentioned several times that we are drafting a new law on information uh, security. So, there is some, that this law is sometimes, sometimes already in drafted state. And um, now we are mm, making some um, mm, some actions to to finish th this job uh, uh, tomorrow. <laughs> there, is, there is next meeting of, of the working group to continue to continue work on this law. I already mentioned two major uh, focus of this uh, of this law. One focus is implementing um, what is. Uh, regulated and what be, will be regulated by directive on a network and information security. And this is 
two, there, there, there are two, two main concepts there. Uh, one is that um, some companies uh, uh, that provide some important services need to uh, uh, ha have a responsibility that law defined on uh, network inf and information security of their systems uh, and needs to report to the government body and this government body needs to, to be established. And this is one part. The other part is sealed. And uh, this is first source that I already mentioned that we use as some frame for what we will, uh, what we will regulate in this, in this legislation. The second source is uh, uh, regulation of uh, how secret data should be managed uh, in formally secret, according to law, of course. Secret data uh, should be managed in information systems. And the, in, in this area, we use other European documents that I already also mentioned, documents of uh, European Council. Uh, go forward. So there are several, uh, so this is the first, uh, several uh, institutions that already do some, uh, have some role that is related with, with CIRT and uh, do this, um, do some kind of CIRT, but for, for the area of res responsibility of specific institutions. First of all, I already mentioned the Administrative Agency for Joint Services that manages uh, backbone, backbone network for state, state bodies. Uh, and then, what is also important in some, uh, in some sectors, in some ministries, in some institutions, there are sectorial networks that are very important. Uh, one of them is academic network. There is sector administration, has network, etc., etc., Ministry of Interior, etc. So there. Are different uh, sectorial network and it's this sector uh, needs to, to, to have also some kind of organization that some kind of emergency response team go forward. I already mentioned the academic network of Republic of Serbia uh, that manage um, not only academic, the name stands still academic, but it is network that uh, ne ne uh, <coughs> the role of this institution covers um, education, um, education system generally. Uh, as I already mentioned, because at the beginning, before slide start, I uh, talked a little bit more about uh, some detail in a legal framework um, for in the law on electronic communication. Again, according to EU, EU directives, there are some rules, um, in, some, in some cases similar to rules in, in parallel, rules that are now in uh, uh, Network and Information Security Directive uh, on responsibility of telco operators and necessity for reporting to regulatory authority. Okay, this is the same, the same topic, we can go on. Uh, and now, on the law enforcement side, when uh, some crimi criminal acts are uh, here, uh, th there is a um, criminal code, the law that, that defines kinds of criminal acts, and I will not read one by one, of course, set of uh, criminal acts, uh, that is related with um, high tech uh, is defined in this criminal code. Go on. Oh. Let me go to the next slide. Thank you. So, uh, and we are still in this area of cyber crime, uh, and uh, there is department for cyber crime in Ministry of Interior in police. Then there is a court that is responsible for cyber crime cases. This is uh, a higher court in Belgrade. And also in prosecuting system, there is prosecutor office for fight against 
high tech crime, it is translation in Serbia or cyber crime, and when translation back in English, it becomes uh, high tech high tech crime. So th th this is uh, official official translation. We also use in in presentation in assessment process in, in, in Brussels uh, and go forward. Uh, regarding critical infrastructure protection, I already mentioned that uh, there are some, some concepts from previous period that we may map to critical infrastructure, but there is still no uh, direct regulation of critical infrastructure and uh, some mm, uh, legal framework that can um, define legal status of a legal status of uh, of critical critical infrastructure, um, and uh, I will go forward now. Next slide. Um, uh, currently, we have this concept of some facilities that are important for for defense, and this is the traditional concept that now need to mm, to be. Um, defined better uh, when we talk about some new concept of critical critical infrastructure, and this is also one one issue in law and information security that we can, will not address fully from this law because we are in position to define some core law, and there are different areas that we cannot immediately cover, but we know that in legal system we need to to have defined this critical infrastructure, and after this critical infrastructure is defined, it will also define additional rules uh, addressing critical infrastructure when we are talking about uh, information security. And now, until uh, 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 then, we will make some some other kind of general general rules that will will cover appropriate area. Then go forward. Also, just to mention, just to mention, in our uh, uh, strategy for information society development, or huh, th this is translation development strategy for information society. Okay, both translation may work. Uh, there are also area that we mentioned particularly. This is uh, a scientific research and development work because. While drafting this uh, this uh, strategy, uh, many people recognized importance of research and development work uh, to support overall um, information uh, security area in the state. Oh, we go forward. Uh, regarding international. Cooperation. I will mention several se several organizations that our institutions institutions for our state are involved, like Southern East Europe National Security Authorities, uh, where Serbian NSA uh, is involved. Let's go forward. Also, Serbia is a member, of course, of ICU, IMPACT, and AMRES CIRT team has been a uh, member of uh, Terana service since 2011. So I think that it is the last slide. Thank you. So this is my short presentation, trying to present current state and plans of Serbian Mm, legislation and policy regarding information society. So I suppose now that I should ask for questions. Please come forward with questions. We have a rowing mic. Oh, just raise your hand if you have one. Okay. 
Hearing none, I think we'd like to thank you for your presentation and for your time. Thank you.